Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Create Interactive which basically takes the physics engines of Valkyrian Skies and basically just squishes it together with Create to really like completely change the game. Now although Crashing Trains is a part of the mod, that's not the only part and it's not even the coolest part. The coolest part is on any contraption you can build, break, and completely change up blocks and you can even, if we can break our way in here, you can even access inventories and contraptions will function on contraptions, which is super, super cool. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is what specific contraptions you can interact with with the mod. And honestly, it's all of them. Every single contraption in the Create mod is now interactable. So that's our three different type of bearings, windmill, uh, mechanical, and clockwork. That's our gantry, that's our two types of pulleys, carts, and also trains. And every single one of these, you can just literally break and place whatever blocks you want onto the contraption. And a really nice thing about it is like if you have something that's spinning or moving, your character and your view is actually gonna move with it. So that makes it really easy to kind of build on here as if you're just kind of building basically off the world or if this was stopped. And that's really nice for building cool decorative stuff that you want moving or troubleshooting contraptions. You don't need to come over here and stop it all the time. You can literally just have it going and that'll work at pretty much any speed. So even if we speed this up, you know, we're kind of moving with it. Might get a little bit dizzy if you can see outside of it, but like when you're just looking at the contraption, it works really seamlessly and really smooth. Then of course, this also is going to work with your gantry. It's going to work with your pulleys. But one thing you'll notice with a pulley is when this gets up to the top and it stops and it goes back down, it's leaving that block behind. Now, the reason for that is we're not actually gluing these together when we build on this. We're essentially just adding it to that contraption. So if you're having stuff that stops, um, you will need to glue it. Well, here, let's, let's test this out. So if I break this, place this here and then glue it, then build it back together. Okay, then it's together and then it'll always be together. So. I guess that is one thing to watch out for. You can't glue on contraptions, and when you're just placing blocks, they're not automatically gluing themselves. This also works with your minecarts, so you can nicely build on these and then kind of push them around, which is really quite nice, especially for big drill contraptions and stuff. And then of course, as we've already seen, it does work with trains, even when they're moving, but <laughs> one feature this adds is the derailment so if you get to the end of a track your train just kind of falls apart um, now it is just like regular derailment where you can just grab a wrench right click on your train relocate it back onto your track and it should work just seamlessly um, derailment isn't actually too big of a deal it just is a really nicer looking way of the previous way where it gets to the end of the track and it just kind of falls apart Actually, I take that back. In Vanilla Create, when it gets back to the end of the track, it just stops. I guess what I'm talking about is when it hits another train. So this is another layer of you got to make sure that at the end of your train, you are planning for it, which you can do not with a wall, but you can do it with the new train buffer, which is a new block added by the mod, which will basically just stop your train at the end. So if you do have a track that you know is going to end and you need to be able to stop, just place a buffer at the end of your track and you should be good to go. And you can place that just normally right at the last step of your track. Also, one last thing I did forget to mention is sticky mechanical pistons and regular mechanical pistons also work with interactive. So I showcased earlier a little bit how stuff works on contraptions now. And you can see this is a, a working moving train. And I mean, we have like everything we could possibly need and it all is just fully functional on a contraption, which is incredible. Um, this actually makes a train base possible. That's been something I've wanted to do forever. And now I can actually make a train base and move them around my world with like mobile storage and crafting and everything I can need. Plus water even works on contraptions. That's right. So you can even have water and lava on your contraption, which is super cool. Now it doesn't flow, but it still works. Um, and another really neat little thing is TNT will even work <laughs> and it actually damages your contraption realistically, which is really quite fun. And I mean, even nether portals work on contraptions. So you can have a cool little spinning nether portal, which yeah, isn't exactly useful, but it's, it's cool, right? 
Um, and one thing you might notice about this is, yo, you can't move obsidian with bearings, right? So if I were to go, to, were to go ahead and just like try to move obsidian, immovable block obsidian. But if I do a regular block and then I place obsidian on it, hey, now we can move obsidian, which is really quite neat. Um, it's just so powerful and it's really interesting how much stuff works on it. And it's not just vanilla stuff that works on contraptions. Create components will actually work on your contraptions as well. So if we just went ahead and set up a quick little mechanical arm, powered it up, gave it something to do, we can see that it'll actually function on a moving contraption, which is incredibly powerful. And there's a lot of really, really cool stuff we can do with this. So before we take us some really useful stuff we can do with contraptions on contraptions, first I want to take a look at the propagator bearing, which allows you to take power and transfer it from contraption to like subcontraption. So here we've got a propagator bearing, which is powered from the bottom. And then we need to send that directly into a shaft or a gearbox or a chain drive or something that basically transfers power. And in doing that, if we go up to the top here, you can see that that shaft is spinning in our subcontraption. So what that means is we have our bearing down here and then goes up to our shaft and then up to here. And if I were to go ahead and place something that needs rotational power, so if we just went ahead and threw a cog here, you can see that our cog is spinning and that will actually be able to power other contraptions on our subcontraption. And these do stack. So you can see we have a bearing, powering a bearing, powering a bearing, powering a bearing and so you can see our little piece at the end here is spinning and the whole thing is spinning and it looks really quite cool and of course we can go crazy and just like speed this up all the way and okay maybe that's a little too far and it crashed my game so taking a look at this and maybe a little bit more of a modest speed you can see we can get some really neat movement which you could use for like i don't know artistic builds or maybe like something that looks really organic but yeah, it's really cool to have movement on movement on movement. It's something that, honestly, i surprised the crate mod hasn't integrated already because it's so powerful and it really just is cool. Now, using this propagator bearing, we're going to take a look at some cool stuff you can do with contraptions on contraptions. Now, honestly, I don't have a ton of contraptions in mind that could really make good use of the interactive. I'm sure there are, and once everybody spends a little bit more time kind of playing around with it, I'm sure a lot of stuff will come up. So I'm just gonna talk about a few of the things I've kind of been playing around with and thought may be useful. And then as we kind of go forward here, maybe I'll make some different videos on different contraptions and how they could potentially be upgraded. So obviously we can have storage on trains now, which is amazing, but we can also have farms on trains. So I was thinking like, you could have a cobblestone farm and then put that on a train and then move it to somewhere else or why not have the cobblestone farm on the train and then when it's moving from point a to point b it's just constantly producing cobblestone and when it gets there it could just drop it all off which i think would potentially be a really nice use of interactive and obviously you could take this a step further and you can make this take that cobblestone and produce iron or take that cobblestone and produce gold or whatever you want on this train and then transfer that around your world Another thought is you can maybe upgrade that classic rotational bearing farm by taking our propagator bearing and then having some encased shave drives, I can move this mechanical bearing a bit further from center. And that's potentially with this extra spinning motion gonna get us more area that we can chop down trees um, with potentially less resources because we don't need to make as many saws. So I don't know, just a thought. I'd have to mess around with this a little bit more to kind of figure out how exactly it can be used. Now, along with all of like the useful stuff, I think the big thing here is honestly, at least for the start, gonna be decoration. And that's just because it's so powerful being able to do this. First off, with like double motion, you can make some really cool doors or really organic movement of like, if you wanted to make animals or creatures and stuff, um, that would be really, really quite helpful. The other thing you can do, which is really powerful, is when you're building, you can then destroy those blocks and have your blocks still kind of existing. So like my first thought here is like, you could slow this way down and you can have like all these different kinds of blocks all over the place. 
and you can even make like a little solar system display in your world and everything would actually move and float around or you can add lighting to your room and kind of have like lights just kind of floating in the air and there's a lot of really neat stuff that could be done as far as decoration goes i'm definitely going to make some videos kind of focusing on that because i wanted to really explore what we can do with this mod because it's really powerful but it's going to take some time to figure out all the really cool stuff that we can do with it now another really neat thing about the mod is it's going to work with other mods including the other valkyrian skies mods so if we were to like just take our train from earlier and throw on just a few wings we could in theory have a train that once derailed is capable of flight um now obviously i think we're a little too heavy here and we do need some actual thrust but the fact that you could in theory take your favorite train and fly around is pretty cool and actually we might even be able to take the gravitron <gasps> we can and pick up our train which there it goes fly away my beautiful train <laughs> that's really cool so just being able to work with other mods is an absolute joy and i mean there's so much interesting stuff you can do with that and talking about other mods let's not forget that now in theory you could have create big cannons working on your train which means all artillery trains are now a go people and that's something that i'll definitely be playing with in a future video because that would be really interesting to see what we could do with big cannons on trains so that's going to be it for today's quick little look at create interactive i'm super excited to dig into this in the future so let me know down in the comments what contraptions you guys are going to start with or what you might want to see on the channel as far as showcasing different ways to use the mod so in the meantime go create something interesting and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye